Welcome back to the Gary Sutton Show on WSBA. Uh, uh, you know how I feel about uh, people who have served. And this next gentleman is Dave Bray. He served in the United States Navy as an 8404 FMF corpsman for 2nd Battalion, 2nd Marines. Dave is now the singer for the band Madison Rising. And they are a patriotic rock group with songs devoted to our military veterans, bikers, and the USA. And... Uh, Dave grew up in York. Uh, they're raising their boys here right now. Madison Rising is best known for the rock rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. And Dave joins us this morning here on the Gary Sutton Show. Dave, first of all, thank you for your service to our country. Truly appreciate it. And for the service you're providing even now as part of your rock brand and uh, band in uh, uh, honoring our country. Well, you covered it all, Gary. Thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, and And as does, you know, this is a heavily... Heavy reason for veterans and military, and, uh, you know, we all appreciate your support and patriotism, especially from uh, WSBA as well. So thank you very much for that. Well, thank you. Uh, this year, on April 18th, uh, Madison Rising, uh, your group, is going to have the honor of performing a full concert right here in New York at the Shiloh American Legion for the third annual Corporal Matthew Haynes benefit. Matthew Haynes, by the way, uh, just lost his dad this past week, Lee Haynes. I was at the funeral the other night uh, for Lee, a good friend and a, a veteran himself. And uh, so the family right now, um, obviously, grieving over that. Um, and, of course, Matt uh, is a guy who was, was shot himself. I'll let you tell the story there a little bit, uh, if you'd like, Dave, and, and how this all kind of got started and what Madison Rising is doing to try to help him. Well, sure. And, uh, again, condolences to the to the family for, you know, these things happening um, yeah. during this time. I mean, here we are trying to help and celebrate in a way, but, you know, sort of shuddered by the loss of Lee, and, and that's that's tough in general for anybody. So, um, you know, as far as Matt, uh, Corporal Matt Haynes, he was, he was shot and uh, paralyzed from the neck down. Um, we decided to do what Madison Rising does, basically, just to give your listeners a little bit of background about the band. We are a pro-American and patriotic rock band. That's what we do. That's wh why we do what we do. We don't, you won't hear anything else but that from us. And that's why we, that's why we came out of the gate to do things like this. Uh, Madison Rising put together a, uh, a crowd funder called Shows for Heroes uh, at the end of last year. And we raised uh, a good bit amount of money so that we could do shows like this in certain places for people who are trying to raise money for guys like Corporal Matt Haynes. Now, here's the deal. It wasn't, we get, we get a lot of requests to do things like this, but the one that really turned us on and the reason this turned us on was because Matt Haynes also being, you know, paralyzed from the neck down is actually giving back. He's been, he, he feels as though he's benefited enough from everyone yep. helping him out that he is now turning the funds from this ride, which starts at Goofy's on the 18th this Saturday between 10 and 12 is registration. If people want to know, I'm pretty sure everybody knows where Goofy's is there uh, in between Hanover and Spring Grove. Right out there on the road there. to Spring and, Grove, yeah. Yep, and ends, ends at the American Legion. But Matt's giving back. And, you know, we get, again, we get, Madison Rising gets asked to do all kinds of shows all over the country. And some of them we, we just can't do. Some of them we can. But this one, being so close to home um, and being such a, you know, a, a veteran sort of based family, um, and what Matt's doing with the funds, we felt as though it was definitely something that qualifies for our Shows for Heroes program. And we are proud to be playing at the American Legion this Saturday. And all the bands start around 4.30. We're going to go on around 7.30. We're looking forward to it. I, I mean, the, you, you got to be proud. I mean, it, it's really something that, uh, uh, you know, you, I hope I get a chance to get out and watch you guys because I've heard a lot about you and I haven't ch had a chance to see you yet. So I'd like to get out there and support that as well. Uh, You'll be close. I know you're close, Gary. Uh, I'm not too far away. I'm, I'm actually in a golf tournament that day, but I'm going to try to run out right afterward and get over and see you guys. Maybe we'll get a chance to meet. But anyway, tell, tell me about Madison Rising, how you guys kind of got started and, and where you come up with the name and, and the types of places that you play around the country right now. Uh, sure. So I gave you a little bit of background. We're a pro-American patriotic rock band. We got together about four years ago, and we came out with our debut album. It's basically four guys. We were, you know, introduced through mutual friends, and it got to a point where we kind of looked at each other and said, we should do something that's just patriotic, because we love the kid rock songs that are patriotic, and we love the Leonard Skinner stuff, and we loved, we loved all the same stuff. But at the end of the day, you know, they're also singing about other things that I don't really want my kids to hear. So Madison Rising is, we have fans from ages 8 to 80. And I can't, I can't stress enough that I want people to bring their families. I want you to bring your kids. I want you to enjoy the day with us on the 18th uh, at the Shiloh Legion uh, in the afternoon. It's going to be, it's going to be a great day. And obviously we're going to be supporting Matthew Haynes in the benefit ride. So anyway, I, I just wanted to circle back and touch on that. But we got the name, uh, we named the band after James Madison because we 
wanted something that stood for the Constitution, something that stood for the foundation of this country, because in general, it feels like this country's foundation is being just eroded from underneath of our feet. And, you know, guys like Matt Haynes are out there slinging lead for us in places that we can't even pronounce. And, you know, meanwhile, back home, um, you know, we're not holding down the home front very well, I don't feel, uh, in my opinion. So I just, uh, we wanted something that was constitutional, American, and that's what better way than to honor James Madison, you know, the, the author of the Constitution and writer of the Federalist Papers. So that's mm-hmm. why we named the band Madison Rising, bringing him back. And you've got a brand new album out I see on Amazon, American Hero, uh, Madison Rising, American Hero, which uh, I, I saw some of the songs you have on. You guys are known for your Star Spangled Banner. That's kind of uh, where you kind of got your first notoriety, and it's kind of spread out from there, right? Yep, yep. We started, uh, again, we started in 2011. We released the Star Spangled Banner in 2012. And it just sort of caught fire. People really liked what we did with it. I mean, some people, obviously, you got the haters out there, but they really liked what sort of the fresh coat of paint we gave to the Star Spangled Banner. It was something that a lot of people are afraid to touch or or manipulate or move or or even put anything onto. Um, So we decided to put our spin on it. You know, we took Jimi Hendrix's guitar solo, we threw it in the middle and made the rest a great rock tribute and a rock song around, you know, what we believe this country stands for. And again, it's, it's a song of defiance. It's a song of celebration. It's a song of victory. It's a song that Americans should be proud to put their fist up in the air and their hand over their heart for and it always just felt like to me i mean it when we when i heard it you know being played or if i if i if i saw people it never felt it always feels like a celebration at the end but nothing else in between so uh, i the reverence we wanted to keep we wanted to keep that reverence because of what the song stands for and we we ended up with this great americana style rock song that is the star spangled banner by madison rising if your listeners want to hear it just go to youtube look up madison rising star spangled banner they will love it i assure you and we may when brian gets back in the studio here, we might try to sneak that back in there a little bit of that today tell me about um uh, uh, you know so many times we hear people say today dave um, thank you to veterans. That's become the in vogue thing. And I think, I think heartfelt by most people because that's all they have. They, that's all they know. And I've said this many, many times, but when, when you come back now and you can say, thank you, and I can, I can help you. Um, you're a veteran yourself. Um, uh, what does it mean? I've heard so many veterans say, well, it was okay. I was just doing my job. Uh, you know, they don't make a big deal out of it. And yet at the same time, you guys put your dreams on hold so that we could continue to have our dreams here in this country. And a lot of people say, well, that sounds hokey. I don't think it is. And I think the fact that you're embracing the patriotism of our country is a good thing. Well, I served, my brother served, um, and my father served. And we have extended family, obviously, that, that served in, in other wars. But um, I, think what, I think what comes down to is, you know, there's a lot of people that are very sort of coming out of their shell and saying thank you. Uh, at the same time, guys like Matthew Haynes and the people that have come back, maybe not in one piece, a thank you is fine, and we appreciate that. But um, there's one difference between talking the talk and walking the walk. Mm-hmm. Things, like showing up, things like showing up to benefit concerts, helping to raise not only awareness but money for these guys coming home, that's what we're doing for the third annual Corporal Matthew Haynes Benefit Ride that, that, that we're doing coming up this Saturday uh, at the Shiloh Legion. And, again, the bands are going to start at 430. It's a family friendly event. There'll be food, raffles, auctions, all kinds of great stuff. Uh, I hope to see some of your listenership out there. And if, if you see me there, please introduce yourself. I want to talk to you. I want to hear your stories. I want to know, you know, what's happening in York because I travel the entire country. Um, and it, when I get back to actually be able to play here and to be a part of the community again and to give back a little bit, it's, it's, it's awesome. And I want to know what's going on around here. I want to know what's happening on the, on the streets in York. I want to know what's going on. So it's, it's important that I, that I hope that people will introduce themselves and I hope some of your listenership can, can come out this Saturday. Now, this is a motorcycle run and then also the benefit concert right there in Shiloh, Pennsylvania at the American Legion Post 791. Which, by the way, isn't very far from my house, so I, I will make sure I'm there on Saturday. I'm looking say, forward to seeing this. You could hit a nine iron to there. Probably, a, no, maybe about a four iron. Now I'm a little older, but the nine, you know, one time maybe. But yeah, we'll definitely get over there. And uh, but you know, talk a little bit about this ride. I was I was so uh, moved the other night again. Uh, there are this group of motorcyclists who were at uh, the Lee Haynes funeral the other night, and I saw Matt and his mother Chris and. And these guys are such a great group of people because they get out there and they honor them. And, of course, Lee Haynes loved his motorcycle a lot. Uh, and so there was a lot of talk about motorcycles. But motorcycle run seems to be the real kind of neat thing here to honor uh, Matt. Talk a little bit about that, if you would. 
Well, again, it's 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 that difference between walking up and, sim- and saying you know thank you, and then getting out there and doing something about it. And this is the trend throughout the country. This is what we're noticing. You know, Madison Rising again. We get to play all over the place, and it never fails. A swarm of motorcyclists come and show their respect. They show their props. They 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 they, they rally behind us, and it, it, it's it's genuine. You know what I mean? They it's something that they enjoy doing. That they can show their pride with. They can wave their flag and drive down the road together. Um, you know, it, that's that's special to me. Uh, you know, when you see those guys rolling in as a group, as a team, that's that's a community. The biker community in this country is probably one of the most patriotic, generous, uh, you know, just kind group of people that you'll find out there. Now, don't get me wrong, you got your biker gangs and they're, they're not the ones we're talking about. No. I'm talking about the biker community. And I don't want that to stink because people are, well, it starts at Goofies, it's a ride, and it ends at the Legion, and that sounds like a, a lot of trouble. It's a family-friendly event. We're going to finish up right around 9.30. The band, Madison Rising, is going to start at 7.30. We have Missing Time and Close Call, a couple other great local bands that if you're from the area, you know who they are. Please come out, support those bands. They're going to start at 4.30. Um, there'll be food vendors, raffles, auctions, the whole nine yards. But like you said, uh, just like Lee did, I mean, he would want people to show up to this thing in hordes and on chrome steel giant dragons that make a lot of noise and, <laughs> and be loud and proud about their country. And that's what that's what the biker community does today. They are actually setting a, an incredible example uh, for the civilian community of how we need to come together and, and actually walk the walk and, and team up and and support these things that, that are very important to us and our communities. Now, the American Legion is at, what, 1490 Poplars Road here in New York? Am I correct on that? Uh, yep, it's the 790, it's post 791, yep. it's right there in Shiloh. If you're heading up 74, you're just going to make a right onto Poplars, and you can't miss it. You yep. can show up there anytime uh, in the afternoon, and, and again, it'll be an all-ages, family-friendly event. You know, you, you get around the country a lot. Correct. And, and one of the questions I always ask people is, why are we afraid to teach pride and patriotism anymore today? It seems like so many times... It's, it's almost like you are, people are a little shy about that or shy about saying, hey, I love the flag. I mean, I love the front of your album here uh, is incredible because you have a picture of, uh, I don't know if that's you, uh, but kind of just holding the flag up and then kind of getting ready to kiss it or something. I mean, why are we so shy about that today? Why isn't that the in vogue thing to do? Well, it's fear. Uh, we're 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 uh, victims of fear. I mean, fear is shoved down our throats 24 hours a day by the news. You know, hey, this happened, this happened, this is going on. This guy, you know, this radical, this guy, this guy was, you know, it's a constant battle against your fear, and they want you scared. They want you afraid to, to be proud of your flag. They want to say political correctness, and you can't do that, or this offends me. They, the, others, the people that don't love this country, they want to try to impose their will upon us. Hmm. And the American people don't really take too well to that. So it's time to wake them up. It's time to, you know, wave that flag high and proud. We play our songs. We play our, we play our music for those people who are willing to stand up and bring a flag and say, hey, this is my country. My father fought for it. My grandfather fought for it. His grandfather died for it. I am not going to be shy about where and how I express my emotions and my feelings about this nation and about the blood that they gave. So why, why, why are we constantly under attack by the news and the media to shut that down, close it off. Please, you're offending people with your flag. You're offending people with your pledge. That pledge and that flag mean something to a lot of people in this country still today, as does that Star Spangled Banner. And that's why Madison Rising goes out and lets those people know, hey, we're on your team, and we got big, big microphones, and we got big, big speakers, and we can get pretty loud. So it's a good time. You come to Madison Rising show, you're going to end up leaving feeling proud about your country, and that's why we do what we do. You know, we have a responsibility, it seems to me, as citizens. You're I'm probably a much younger citizen than I am at this particular particular point but you know we're transmitters of our culture we're transmitters of our patriotism we're transmitters of the things that that we've held dear in this country that we think have made us great for a long time it seems like we've kind of dropped the ball on that as our as custodians of that right now does it seem that way to you it feels that way because nobody has a it, everybody has patriotism that they keep in their back pocket it needs to be fearless it needs to be right out there prideful yeah. be pride and proud about your country wear wear a flag put put a flag out in front of your house let people know who, where you stand and what you believe in it's like people are taking their flags down because they're worried about their neighbors and all this stuff you know what Maybe they'll come over and say, hey, your flag offends me, and then you can call them in and say, hey, sit down, have a cup of coffee, and I'll explain to you why it's not coming down, and it never will. 
And what so offends that, you about the American flag? I mean, what could possibly offend you? Right. You live under its protections. You live under its uh, rights to freedom. You, you. I mean, what what could offend you? <laughs> yep, you collect you collect the dollars that come off of my dinner table and go right to yours. That's it's it's an interesting concept. I don't know why it offends people. You would think that it would be something to be celebrated, but look look what happens. It, you, humanitarianism was never meant to be a part of the Constitution. You were supposed to come to this country. You were supposed to work for it. It was never supposed to be handed to you. Because when you, as soon as you start handing it, they start taking. They start taking instead of being given to. Dave, I want That's to, why we have an issue. I want to take a break. We're going to come back and talk a little bit more. Dave Bray with Madison Rising, and uh, here's a piece from one of their songs, a very dear piece, and we'll be right back with Dave after this. Madison Rising and Dave back with us here on the Gary Sutton Show. They're going to be playing this weekend at a benefit. It's going to be at the Shiloh American Legion 791. Uh, they'll be starting about 730 that night, but it's all going to pick up around 430 there. And they're going to have a ride, a motorcycle run uh, from Goofy's over there on the road to between Hanover and uh, Spring Grove. All the way out to the Shiloh American Legion post. And you come out and you support uh, Corporal Matt Haynes. Uh, who was injured badly in Afghanistan, and uh, he's now helping other people through the money that's uh, moving along through him and for him. And I think it's uh, just going to be a wonderful day. And another way to say thank you to our veterans in a way that just says uh, that we really do care. We have Dave Bray back with us. Dave, you know, a, a pretty interesting rendition there. And for a lot of people who are saying, man, I like it straight, it's not straight, but it's from the heart. It's positive. It talks about the country, and, and it's the way you see it, right? That's exactly right. And, and it, nothing again, I, I nothing against the way that it was, was meant to be sung, sure. what people believe it was meant to be sung. Uh, but a little history on the song is that it was actually just a poem. I mean, Francis yeah. Scott Key wasn't singing that thing from the, from the aboard a ship. Uh, that the, 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 the actual tune and the melody that goes along with it was actually to an old English drinking song. That's so exactly right. Yeah, it, you know that it's it's open to interpretation. I feel and and as fact, uh, you know, if if I was some schmuck off the street trying to destroy it or a Rosie O'Donnell sure. thing, that would be one thing. But I'm trying to keep the reverence. I'm trying to give it a new, fresh coat of paint. And the kids, they absolutely love it. We get videos from kindergarten classes where the kids are passing the flag around, watching the video, and they're jumping and they're ecstatic. And if we can plant that tiny seed of patriotism in our kids at a young age, maybe when they turn 17, 18, maybe they'll think about what it means to really be an American and how it's going to affect the rest of their lives. And maybe they'll decide to, you know, stand up and support it and do something about it and become a good voting citizen. It sounds trite to say, but it's kind of making uh, patriotism hip again. Uh, you know, getting back to the idea that patriotism is something that's important, and yet it gets spoken in your language, too, in your music, too. And uh, maybe it's a new way of reaching these kids uh, and these new generations that are coming through right now. Exactly. I mean, I've always said, this is something I've always said from the beginning. I mean, rock and roll music always sort of either leads or follows the counterculture. Wherever the counterculture is, rock and roll music is. And the strange part about this now is the fact that rock and roll music is now involved in patriotism. And it's very sort of odd to think of being patriots and loving your country and supporting your, your men and women in uniform and the police and the fire and the first responders. It's very strange to look at that as being counterculture. But if you look at the videos and everything that's on Facebook, it's, it's anti-police, it's anti-military. It's, an, you know, it's, it's a continual barrage 
of, you know, hey, th- everything is bad. Everything in this country is bad. Every- everything that it was stood for, everything that came out of the gate, you know, based upon the last, you know, couple hundred years, it's all bad. It's all racist. It's all bad. And, and to-, to stand up and say that and let social media sort of dictate the-, the agenda of this country, I think, is ridiculous. So that's why Madison Rising does what we do. Um, and we-, we sing loud and proud. And, you know, I- if-, if you don't like that and you don't like what we do, you know, there's there are plenty of other pieces of land on this globe that you may actually- well and, and keep your mind open and come on out and enjoy that and remember you're helping someone too and you're helping the people who have helped us uh you know i i often said the veterans did their part now we need to do our part as citizens uh and stand up for our country uh of course you and your becky are both you and your wife becky are both from york you're raising your kids here so that's something special for you to come back home about 20 seconds left final thoughts on this day because i'm looking forward to seeing you myself on saturday night but uh, your final thoughts Sure. I mean, if people want to learn more about Madison Rising, what we do, please check out madisonrising.com, all the social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. We also have Missing Time is going to be playing with us. Close Call is going to be playing with us. The bands are going to start at 430 at the Shiloh Legion, post 791. Just make a right on Poplars Avenue, right across from Wise, if you're heading north on 74. And this is for Corporal Matthew Haynes. And it's one thing to say, hey, this is for one guy, but Corporal Matthew Haynes is actually going to take this money and turn around and give back, because he feels as though he's, he's yeah. been blessed enough. So, I mean, amen, thank you, and God bless. I appreciate you having me on, Gary. Dave, I look forward to meeting you on Saturday. Thanks so much for being with us, and thanks for all that you're doing, and thank you for your service to the country. Yes, sir. Take care, my friend. Bye. Dave Bray uh, with us here on the Gary Sutton Show. Madison Rising, again, 730 at 1490 Poplars Road, York. The American Legion, 791 on Saturday night.